with extreme rules getting closer and closer. What would you guys think of the new future? We have one more matches before we determine a free show. As WWE and the Mike from LA1 Network presents Saturday Slam. Saturday Slam. That is right, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Mike from Valley One Network here on YouTube, and welcome to the Saturday Slam. As we get set, get set to go to kick off our next. We are on. We're on our road to Extreme Rules. As you can see, we still have the Friday Night Smackdown look, look on here. As we get set to kick off Saturday Slam. So let's take a look here. We got Tito Phelps versus Eddie Griner again. This is like the third time we've seen this match. Then we got Randy Orton versus Jinder Mahal. Then we got Brie Bella versus Sally May. We already know Brie Bella will be facing Kelly Kelly in the future. Then it will be Sheamus versus Daniel Bryan and Alberto Del Rio. And our main event will be R2, Dolph Ziggler, and uh, Triple H. So here we go. Let's get started here with this match. As we get to, as Eddie Griner takes on Tito Phelps, and yes, this is from the uh, Heart and Soul SummerSlam thing here for Eddie Griner. So let's get started here. There'll be Tito the Battle of Purple and Goals again, and yes, probably during the two days I'm at Disney, we will be getting something. And speaking of that season, yesterday. I got something I want to show with my birthday almost a week away, unfortunately. If you guys are a Tea Party fan, you know the bad Tea Parties for unbirthdays. So here we go, Tito Phelps here as we get set to go. I hope you guys enjoy this font. If you got, here's a question. Do I keep the heart and soul or do you want me to keep it? Talk that in the comments below. And also with the week away before my birthday, we are, we may get, I may get some new sports games. Like NCAA 14, which we now know EA will not make a game this year, which I'm really ticked. I'm just, I'm really sad because I have three college football games: NCAA Football 12 and NCAA 13. Unless I want to order NCAA 11 to make it up, but I don't see that soon here. So here we go. Here as there you see the stage, which you saw earlier, and we're from Los Angeles again. Beautiful, nice, beautiful. Think it beautiful. So expect mo the Monday Night Raw episode tomorrow. Tomorrow in NXT. Tomorrow too. On Monday. On Monday. Because well, Saturday I'll be at the park after I get my flu shot, and then on Sunday I'm gonna get my haircut. So I expect that to be a little later than normal. And no, you're not seeing things on the ring. There's the WWE Universe sign. And here we go. And here comes Eddie Griner once again. There's as you got grind, yeah, you got that right. And so far, we have yet to see another char a familiar character here. We have no Philip Fry, no Charles West Becker. Well, West Becker hasn't been put into the game yet. And yes, there you see the W. And already, Eddie's off to a roaring start here over Tito Phelps. Eddie got almost got hit with the cross arm breaker. And here goes Eddie. Oh boy. And ooh. What an uppercut. What is he? Antonio Cesaro? So I know what you guys are thinking. With WWE 2K14 getting close to release. Close to a release. What are you guys thinking that TSQ is gonna do for DLC? Well, I did not want it as to be DLC. But I'm thinking right now at this point, Fandango may be DLC. Curtis Axel, I saw it happen. Uh oh, cross arm breaker! Cross arm breaker! Way to go, Eddie.
Tell me about it. Uh oh, uh oh, what's that he doing? Wait. Wait. Wait a minute, what's that he doing? He's gonna get himself disqualified. He's gonna get himself disqualified here. And look at the ref, he's walking in place. Oh, jeez. Uh oh. Uh oh, look out. Elbow drop by Tito Phelps. And it's too late. Oh, right into the steel post. Jeez. And again with the steel post, and he's back into the ring. And look at the referee. He's putting the st he's put the st steel steps out of the ring. And boy, this is turning into a very long match. Man, when is Eddie going to get back into his momentum here? Look out. Here we go. Here's the pin here. One and oh, one. That's the one count here by Eddie Griner. And there goes Eddie. And there goes Tito out of the ring. So there you see the WWE Universe logo. And uh oh. Where's Tito going? Oh, here we go. What a body slam by Eddie Griner. Oh, here we go. Here's the pin. One, two, two. Uh oh. DDT. And his mask is bleeding, apparently. And his, apparently his mask can bleed. Apparently mask can bleed. Uh oh. Tito blew it. I mean, Eddie blew it. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hey, don't disrespect the Nigerian flag, Tito. Drop kick. From hell. Here we go. One, two, three. Eddie Griner wins. What a win by Eddie Griner. And what a win by Eddie Griner, ladies and gentlemen. And Eddie Griner gets this victory. And that is a great victory there for Eddie Griner. And now with the extreme rules getting closer and closer, our next matchup is going to be Randy Orton versus Jinder Mahal. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. The face, the current face of the WWE who today on SmackDown, today on SmackDown, beat the living heck out of Miz. Well, Jinder Mahal, well, he was part of possibly the stupidest match I have ever seen in my life. Where they're controlling Santino's Cobra. And, oh, here comes Randy Orton. They, uh, and there's the Intercontinental Championship. If you guys didn't see yesterday's videos, go check it out. Randy Orton's your Intercontinental Champion, which I cannot believe I'm saying that. 90 pounds, the apex. I cannot believe I'm seeing the day that Randy Orton is the Intercontinental Champion. Well, it could be worse. It could be Heath Slater or Jinder Mahal, for that matter. Now, I'm curious about this, though. Does he still do the, uh, the hoiding up the belt when he goes onto the top rope rather than the customary salute he normally gets? But I'm, well, it's one way we can find out here, but that, that new Intercontinental Championship belt looks pretty good on Randy, don't you think? Yeah, they talk to me, they understand, they talk to me, they talk to me, and it's nice to see Randy Orton 
on Saturday Slam? And I guess the answer is yes. He still does it. They still he still does that. But the big question is, is he gonna still do it? And here's the inspiration for uh, Ali Ghirardelli, Jinder Mahal. Actually, I would love to see an Extreme Rules match between the Great Ali and Jinder Mahal. No, 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 that'll be terrible. That will never work. Actually, if you guys want to see that, like the video. If you don't want to see it, dislike the video. And for the time being, I'm going to be the Orton, the Viper. And if he loses to Jinder Mahal, I'm going to laugh. If I lose to Jinder Mahal, I'm going to laugh at... Ooh! Yes. And here we go with Orton here. Before we get this stuff done here. And oh, here we go. Since, Rant, since Orton's not a submission guy. And ooh, gee, he is eating the living heck out of Jinder Mahal. There you see the WWE Universe logo. Uh oh. Uh oh. I wonder if he gets caught by security with that. Uh, oh, there we go again. He's out of the ring again. And uh, yes, I have the current WWE logo and the golden one. Then you can see in the background over there, there's the golden one. Back there. Look out. Look out. Way to steal Randy's finishing maneuver there. And seriously, and he missed. Good job. Great job, Gender. I mean, it's nice that 3MB is going to be in the game, but personally, why is David Otunga in the game? And oh, nut shot by, by, by Randy Orton. And whoa, and uh oh. Bat breaker. Here we go. Uh oh. RKO by Randy Orton. RKO. RKO. And what the heck? Is, what the heck's he doing? There's the pin. Here we go. One, two, three. Orton wins. What a pin by Ra what a win by Randy Orton, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, a winning combination, huh? What a move. Randy Orton. And a big victory over Jinder Mahal. So we are going to see Randy tonight, later on today, or tomorrow in video game time, for Extreme Rules. So come back in just a bit. As, as Come back in just a couple of seconds as we get ready for our next match, which I think is Brie Bella versus Sally Mae. So I'll see you guys then. Later.